This is on the glass closet, and I thought it would be perfect to talk to these guys about this. If you don't know the term, the glass closet, it is, I'm gonna read this because I wanna get it fully right, it is a term used for a gay person, usually a public figure or celebrity, who has never publicly come out as being gay, but is basically known to be gay. There are many of these people. Now, I'm not gonna out anyone. We had a debate before the show. I'm not going to out anyone here, but I have written four names here on this piece of paper. And I don't want you guys to repeat these names, but there are four names here that are very, very public people. Uh, in Hollywood, one a major TV star, one a major movie star, one a major mu music star, etc. that pretty much everyone in the gay community he knows is gay. Again, I am not outing anyone. I just want you guys to look at this. Let's keep it on me for a second so that the wide shot doesn't even see this. Oh. Okay, now we're just looking at that. One of them's big in news and sort of has been outed recently by a major newspaper. Okay, now, my question is this. Yes. With these people, I have no reason to think that any of them are anti-gay. Actually, some of them have done publicly pro-gay things, but yet they still refuse to just say it. And I'm curious, as out people, you guys put a lot of stuff out there. You put your full selves out there. You put a lot of skin out there on top of that. Uh, um, thanks for that. <laughs> literally, you're putting your skin in the game. Yeah. Um, and people are how, putting skin into his game. It, whatever whatever <laughs> works. Yeah. Really, how? I because I, I feel very conflicted by these people. I have no doubt that they're all good people and privately doing good things and probably living happy lives and all that. But as out people, how should we feel about this group of people that sort of is tacitly endorsing this idea that you can live your life still, but don't say it. Either one of you, take it away. I would say that the coming out process is different for everyone, and that there's no right way to do it, there's no time that you need to do it by, and, and not that I'm letting any of them off the hook, but that they're probably at potentially at different points in their coming out journey. And so I think it's very hard to be critical of, of people and, 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 and where they're at. Uh, right. And we see the same thing with, with YouTubers, like that there's YouTubers that are in the closet. And it's easy for us as out YouTubers to say, like, what are you doing? Like, come out, you can do so much for the cause, you will help change hearts and minds. But they just might not be there yet. I mean, there's a lot of processing that has to happen to get to that point. Right, now again, I don't know any or of these. Or they're waiting for the book deal. Ooh, so that's, I think, <laughs> right. maybe what PR it more, because I don't know any of these people personally, but I'm, at the four people that I wrote down here, I'm pretty sure these are all millionaires, uh, probably multi-millionaires. Um, and isn't that, that tacit endorsement that they're sort of saying, well, I could lose this. You know, and I could lose my TV show, I could lose my movie, et cetera, et cetera. Isn't that sort of the worst message you could be sending to a, a 15 year old that maybe wants to go uh, in the movies? You know, you know what I mean? And wants to be an actor. Isn't the, aren't, isn't the uh, subliminal message there that this is almost like the worst thing you could possibly do? I mean, if I were to speculate, and I'm not really in a position to do so, I can only speak from my own experience, but one yeah. of them is also fairly quite young, as prominent of a figure as he is. is yeah, surprising. one of these people is pretty so young. So yeah. I, I think that it's their own emotional journey, and I have no problem with them choosing to remain in the closet yeah. because they are uh, so uh, prominent in the public eye, as long as you're not living a life of hypocrisy. So right. if, as, right. if you're not... A, you know, vocally voting uh, voting against gay rights or sh or expressing your disdain, yeah. uh, then we're cool. And as far as I know, most of these people have also been vocal supporters of gay rights. They've just never joined the club themselves. They've been like, they're like, oh yeah, gays are great, love gays. That's not me, but love gays. Right. So, yeah. but that's the weird thing, and I think that's why everyone feels so conflicted. When I showed you guys this list, mm -hmm. you both sort of backed up, like, oh shit, we better not talk about that list because there is this unsaid thing, right, that we shouldn't really, if we were to say this, these mm -hmm. names, people would go berserk. Right. I do want to respect people's privacy. I know that coming yeah. out was a difficult process for myself, and I wasn't even online when that happened. This was just my own little world. I was so unbelievably afraid. So one can imagine just what they're going through. So yeah. I want to be resensitive to that, and I would like to, and once they're out, I, tell me your story, girl. Let's 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 hear it. What, yeah. what was going I, on? I, yeah. Listen, I totally agree, because that's why I did the segment like this and didn't plaster their names <laughs> on everything. Is the hypocrisy issue, is that the big one for you? If you saw these four names and saw that one of them was somehow doing some sort of anti-gay thing, would that lead you more? Right, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what, what leaves a bad, well, a bad taste in your mouth, so, 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 to, so speak. to speak. Yeah, yeah. That, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we'll edit it to sound right. I think that's where it crossed the line. And the message that you were saying of like, you know, they're millionaires and they're afraid that they're, that's probably not the message that they think that they're putting out. I, I agree. I don't think they're proactively believing that they're right. doing something bad, but I do think, especially for one of these people who's an actor who is so hugely successful, there's somehow the implication that my success is based in me not coming out. And or, I think that's really dangerous. And I, I, that doesn't mean I'm going to out him right. or even think, I don't even think poorly of him. I don't know him. But I, I think that that conflicting message is still something that the gay community is, hasn't quite grappled. He yet. probably thinks the message that he's putting out is, it's it none of your matter. fucking business. Yeah. And, and this is my personal life and, it's, and, and it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be, it, like, the message that we're receiving isn't the same message that he yeah. thinks he's putting out. Um, and and it, it kind of is what it is. At, I think at, both are valid too. Yeah. I think his perspective it is it is valid. There are certain things that, as public as I am, there are certain things that I just don't talk about, right. Right. and you're not going to get me to talk about them because it's none of your goddamn business. Will, will you at least write them on this paper? <laughs> and you can oh, well, I'll tell you this: I don't talk about my I don't talk about any ro any relationships because I've seen YouTubers, celebrities, and we all see you know when you get into very public romantic entanglements in the public eye, it just the fallout's never very good. And I know when you started your blog, you did talk about boyfriends, guys that you were dating. I definitely and, don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's separation just, of church and state. It's yeah, like yeah. let's keep something sacred for him. His his sexual orient for some of these people, sexual orientation might be sacred space for them. Yeah. I don't know.